Boy, I sure love exploring. I'd love to find a crazy creature that is not normally in Minecraft. Oh, wow, look, it's a snake. Hey, that's not normally in my... Ouch, man, don't bite me. Look at him. Look how majestic he looks. I'll tell you what. I want to play you the song of my people. Here we go. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, you like that, huh? Hey, man, I want your leather for my body. I want to wear you. Is that so much to ask? Do you love me yet? Love me. Love me. Please. He love. Oh, he doesn't love me. Hey, what's going on guys? Zip here and welcome back to the Minecraft Redstone video. Today we're going to be showing you snakes in vanilla Minecraft by McMax Science. Same amazing person that brought us Pegasus in vanilla Minecraft. Yes, this Minecraft Redstone video and creation will add working snakes to your Minecraft world. Now these snakes will spawn throughout the world and they'll eventually take notice of you and they'll chase you around if you get too close they'll bite you so you gotta be careful luckily they don't poison you that poisonous snake and the cool thing about them is if you happen to go over sand they will actually hide in the sand please hide from me will you see look at that did you see him did you notice the wild snake in its natural habitat as he descends into the sand now, thankfully, McMagastein has also included a way to tame said snakes. So, even if you do happen to come across one, you don't need to worry about anything, okay? You'll actually be able to get an awesome drop from them, which will, in addition to the snakes, add to your Minecraft world some really cool items, like poisonous swords, poisonous bows, and even a chest plate that lets you turn invisible in certain situations. So hope you guys enjoy this redstone video. If you do and you want to see more, make sure you leave a like on the video. I'd love to see 500 likes for this redstone video. And of course, if you want to check out the map, the download, as well as McMaxstein's channel will be in the description below. So let's actually get right into things. Snakes themselves will just spawn throughout your world. Uh, slowly as you explore, you will find snakes. Um, in this instance, we actually have ourselves an item that will bring us snakes. So we'll just grab that for the time being. Uh, and actually, that's pretty much it in terms of finding snakes. They'll, they'll eventually just appear on their own as such, you know, as you're exploring, as I said. Now, before you take on any certain snake you come across in Minecraft, because you can't actually kill it with conventional means, such as you can't attack it with your bow, you can't attack it with a sword, you can't do anything like that. Oh, look! He's exploring over there. <laughs> You're actually going to need to make a very special item that this little redstone contraption adds, and that, as you saw, is the flute. Now, in order to make the flute, you're actually going to need a special crafting machine. And to do that, it's actually rather simple. You need yourself a dropper, a diamond, and, of course, an item frame. Well, not of course, but those are the things you're going to need. Uh, we'll go ahead and just place you down. Let's place you down right here. So place the dropper facing an upwards direction right above that and to the block behind it. Place an item frame like this and a diamond like this. And just like that, you'll make yourself a brand new crafting machine. Now this is going to act as your crafting bench. Now you're going to need a few items in order to make the flute as well. Now those items are right here. A music disc, um, any disc should do. Uh, you also need a stick and some redstone. Now you put all those three items in the crafting machine as such. And just like that, the machine will get to work right as you right click this little button right in the middle. Now once you've put the machine in and you right click the little iron block that was on top there, you'll see the machine slowly going to work buzzing and whirring and making awesome sounds. I love armor stands. They've done so much for Minecraft. <laughs> well, so have the guys that are geniuses making this. But anyways, you'll see it eventually makes a little anvil noise and that means it's done. And inside, you'll have your finished product, which is a flute. Now, once again, you can have your flute on you over here, and once the snake captures, or you capture the snake's attention, come on, buddy. Yeah, that's right, get over here. Simply have your flute out, and then what you need to do is you'll see some experience. You'll see certain, your experience bar will change, and what you need to do is match where your little hot bar scroller is with where it moves when you have your flute. You'll understand when I do it here. Now, please don't hide in the sand. Thank you. So you have your flute out, and then look match, like I said, where the experience bar goes on your hotbar. 
and that is like playing a certain song on the flute here and if you do it for long enough you'll actually you'll actually be able to kill says actually I'm gonna I wanna mess up I'm gonna mess up and you'll see what happens when you mess up he'll get mad at you he'll be like uh-uh you done did it wrong oh well maybe I did it maybe I did it too much but if you do mess up it actually gives like a little uh, what is it, like evil smoke or whatever and you, the snake will begin chasing you again but if you do end up killing it you'll get yourself a serpent tooth and serpent tooth are useful for creating said custom items that I mentioned before and these are some sweet items so some of them are first of all we've got ourselves a snake chest plate we're actually gonna cover that uh, last but what we have here are some sweet items you can make as well these are poison bows and poison swords and like I said it's some pretty crazy stuff so let me go ahead and show you those now so head on back to your custom crafting machine that you made before when you made the flute and make yourself first off we're gonna show you the poison sword now by making that you need two iron ingots just like that a stick right in the middle there and two serpent teeth on either side then go ahead and try there we go it's a little finicky so you gotta kind of mess around you know you gotta kind of click here click there and you'll see the machine whirring around and when it's done you'll get yourself a poison sword and it will poison any attacked enemies that you come across. So let me actually get ourselves an enemy so that I can show you exactly what I mean here. Oh, come on, spider. No, not Enderman. Spider. There you are, you son of a... So check this out. You'll love this. This is good stuff. So we got a spider here. Hey, dude. And look, he's been poisoned. He's been poisoned and he can't do nothing about it. It's good stuff. It's so impressive. Now, the other thing you can do is make yourself a poisonous bow. Ooh, poison bows, not bad, not bad. And this is the crafting recipe to make that. Of course, you need the serpent tooth right in the middle there. Now, you also, once again, set the machine to worm mode. Again, it takes a few clicks. It's a little weird like that, but what do you expect? This is all done with redstone. This is not an actual mod or anything, which is always impressive to hear about especially with all this other 1.8 stuff coming out. So you'll get yourself your poison bow. Obviously, you're going to need yourself some arrows, which I think we have right in here. And let's uh, let's just get another spider, just for sake of quick example. Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. Well, that's okay. That works just as well. So do we have ourselves our arrows? Yes. So we got a spider here. Now check me out. Watch. Poisoned like it ain't nobody been it. Hey, man, stay back. A poison sword, you dude. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So those are the two weapons that the, uh, God, I guess mod, that the mod adds. It, it really is a mod. Now the final thing that you'll be able to make, as we saw before, is a snake chest plate. And you can hide in sand when you wear this baby. So we're going to build that for us right now. So head back over to your crafting bench as well, we've been doing pretty consistently here. Place it in. And finally, do your last click wear magic on the top here. You got to, like I said, oh, hey, man. Got to right click just a little bit. Come on, man. Don't do this to me right now. Right, right click. Right click. Right click. Ah! Wow, so I accidentally hit pause when I was making the item and I went on explaining for who knows how long uh, exactly how it works. But here we have the snake chest plate. And as I said, you can hide in sand when you wear this baby. So find any sand and then what you're gonna wanna do is just sneak. And upon sneaking, you'll actually go down and you'll be able to walk around in the sand. So it's a little weird because it, it actually moves the sand blocks as you walk around, but you can actually use this to your advantage. So there's a little, a little mini obstacle course set over here. And uh, let's let's start in this area first. So, so with this, you'll actually be able to sneak underneath one block high gaps like this. It's like shrinking yourself down a full block and by golly it is impressive but if you think that's impressive check this out come on you can go down two blocks and look at me look i'm fully concealed in the sand right now i am literally completely underneath it so you can see you can actually move around and if you're a little bit good with it you can move underneath walls now like i said it's a little finicky if it gives you some trouble mcmagasign has said to simply just Go back up and then go back down again, and that should oftentimes make it a little easier. You see, we just went under the wall 
and we are on the other side there. Tell me that is not impressive. This is a chest plate that any explorer needs for their Minecraft world. Now, come on. Let me through, man. I want to go through. I want to break free. Please, will you? I want I want to do it one more time. One more time, man. Yeah. Down. Down, baby. Check me out. That's right. Let me through. Well, <laughs> you guys get the idea. You saw it once, okay? I was proof that it works. It does work. A little finicky, but... What's cool enough about it is the fact that it even works at all. It's all redstone. It's all done with command blocks. Now there's a couple limitations here. Do not have do not have two snakes within 10 blocks of each other or the machine will start to mess up. It is true the machine will mess up and unfortunately, it does not work on multiplayer world. So that is something to keep in mind. That is something that you have to be wary of. Will you let me go down already, man? Ah, uh, whatever. I guess I'm done playing in the sand. Life is a beach, I'm just playing in the sand. Now, if you wanna know what's going on here, it's actually, of course, a series of armor stands. It's always armor stands. It's literally always armor stands. It's armor stands combined with baby zombies uh, and no AI tags and a bunch of other redstone that will be included in the world download should you decide to check this out for yourself. You can actually see right here, summon zombies, and you'll see what, I oh, oh, that, yeah, that must have been yeah, I wish I knew about that for the, uh, yeah, I'm just going to stop. But anyways, here is where all the commands for this machine are. And you can see, you know, given that it adds a whole freaking snake to Minecraft, it's really not too bad. You'll be able to fit this in your world somewhere. So uh, you can either download the world that is provided, or you can probably do a schematic somewhere and add this to any existing worlds. But anyways, guys, that was Snakes in Vanilla Minecraft by McMackestein. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, if you did you want to see more Redstone videos like this, make sure you drop a like on the video. I'd love to see 500 likes for this Redstone video. And of course, as I said, World Download will be found in the description below. So big props to McMackestein. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will catch you for the next video. See ya!